Hey guys, so it is Thursday. I burned my finger this morning because I was trying to do a Snapchat tutorial, like straightening my hair, and I, this is why you shouldn't Snapchat and style, because, um, don't snap in style, because, mm, wasn't a good idea. I am just working on a video. I'm editing my night routine, which I'm really excited about. It's turning out pretty cool. And, um, drinking my teamy, of course, because I love it. Lily's hanging out with me. Hey, Boochie Booch. Come here, look at me. Yee. Hey, Lily. Lily, Lily. God, seriously, cats are so rude. Like, a dog would look right at you and be like, hi, hi. Oh, I can't wait to get our dog. I haven't updated you guys about the dog. So, the whole process is taking a really long time. For those of you who didn't know, um, we're getting a dog through a breeder, which I wasn't wild about the idea because I've adopted all three of my cats, and I'm really about rescuing animals, obviously, getting Ted yesterday, the whole thing, but we couldn't get a dog unless we were to get it from a breeder because we only wanted to get a Havanese. We, like, had, we were really picky about the dogs. I'm really picky about dogs. I don't like, not that I don't like other breeds of dogs, but... There's a lot of breeds that I just wouldn't want, um, so there's only a few that I would actually want. And a lot of the ones that I would want are not good with cats. Like, they're either terriers or I really like French Bulldogs. Um, and so the best dog for us was a Havanese because Josh is allergic to um, dogs. So we had to get a hypoallergenic dog. And then we have, I have grew up with a Havanese, my dog Chance, if you guys have seen him. And he stayed with us for like a month last like winter it was like in january and he did so well with the cats they ended up liking him they don't ha they're not like aggressive like that they don't they don't have like that hunting instinct so they're like the best dog for that and then we wanted a really small dog since we you know still live in an apartment we have three cats so it like really came down to okay we want to have any or we don't want anything else so we were like okay well you can't adopt a have any so we looked into it they're super rare and they're pretty pricey um and josh has wanted a dog for so long so it's something that we were like okay it's okay to spend money on this and we got him from a breeder or her we don't know what it's going to be yet we get the first pick and like i said i really wasn't wild about it and i know a lot of you guys aren't like happy with me for uh doing that but i just really like trust me i tried all other options it just wasn't going to work out like any other way um or it's either we you know get from a breeder or we don't get it at all but i did a lot of research on this breeder we found a great breeder she's like just does one dog she's super mellow she just does this for fun it's like her own pet and she's super like this has to happen naturally i don't force anything so we were hoping that the dog would get like pregnant um a few like last month or the month before and we were supposed to be able to get it in September but since she's like so about letting it happen naturally which is why the reason we picked her because we wanted like someone really ethical that's like really into this and everything um and she wasn't able to like she thinks that she might be pregnant now but um chances are that she won't have the puppies till like September I think she said like late September and so we wouldn't be getting the dog until November 22nd and we're trying to move on November 20th so the whole thing is just like bad timing we already paid for half the dog and so we can't like undo it now um, which we wouldn't want to because we're excited we're Josh is so excited about getting a dog you guys he's wanted one for so long like I'm more of the cat person he I mean he's become a cat person too but he really has wanted a dog since we've been together and um so we're gonna do it and we just have talked to her about possibly getting the dog slightly early um just like a few days but literally i feel so bad because this poor puppy is first couple days with us i keep saying him because i feel like we're gonna i just feel like we're gonna get a boy um and i just feel bad that his first couple days are gonna be like in a moving van <laughs> across the country but things have just i don't know things are crazy and we're learning as we go we're young um so that's what's up with that, but uh, I don't know where I'm going with this random tangent. I really need to get back to editing because I'm running so behind today. So today, um, our apartment complex is having like an annual inspection of all the units and they can just come in. So like luckily I work from home because I don't, I just don't like that. Like I understand they have to do it. They have to change like our air filter and make sure smoke, smoke detectors are working. It's not like anything bad and obviously we have like nothing to hide in our apartment, but doesn't it? I just feel like it's so creepy. Like if I wasn't home, I would. I just wouldn't like the fact that someone was in the house, like with the cat, someone I don't know. Lily is so scared. <laughs> this is your only hiding spot. You guys should have seen her a second ago. She was literally running. Come here. She tried to fit herself behind the couch and she couldn't fit. <laughs> we don't know what's going on here. She was running around so frantic trying to find a hiding spot. <laughs> 
because the bedroom is like they're in the bedroom and the office. Thank you so much. Of course, have a good day. So Josh and I are headed to Bonefish Grill because we love bonefish. Haven't had bonefish as a married couple yet. This really? is like a serious thing, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> a coupon came in the mail today for like a free yeah. entree, so we were like, we're going. I'll take it. I like to call it the BFG. But it's also the big friendly giant. Can we just take a picture? We're at the bonefish. Just got our delicious so good. bang bang shrimp. Bang. Extra bang, bang sauce. Bangin'. Some soy sauce. Oh, yeah. Gotta get the extra we like to double dip that shit because <laughs> it's so fucking good. delicious. Ugh. It's like my favorite thing on this earth. Like, yeah. Pretty much, I wish. I, like, Sorry, I, just I keep want, I was looking at it. Today it. And I was like, all I really want for like my like Christmas or birthdays from now is like bonefish grill gift cards. Yeah, good. bonefish grill is really good. I okay. love it. And they have it in so Florida, good. so we're good to go. They do, it's and I think it's probably more fresh. It is. I, I bet it's like it's for sure, but like whenever I think it probably there, is. It was really good. There, yeah, it's been fresher there. I actually had both for the first time in Orlando. Yeah, it's really good. Yum. I need you guys to see something. Mimi, Lily, Josh has three glasses currently. Every morning, I normally I haven't done it the last three mornings, but every day I come and pick his glass up from the. Dresser. He moves it from the nightstand to the dresser. And now he has a collection of three. Which, you haven't been drinking any of that water. What's your explanation for this? Well, I always think I'm going to wake up and drink water in the middle of the night. But No, I know. I know why you have the water, but why are you not bringing it into the kitchen in the morning? Because I'm lazy. Okay. And I like to have a collection before I take it. Mm, okay, well I'm going to leave that for I you to deal with. I cat's bowl with my no. Yeah, it's good for him. Party drank out of it anyway. Yeah, they drink out of our water I'm like every night. Little Tucker stole my spot, but he's so cute that I don't want to move him. Bubba, you look like a little. Do do any of you guys call? I guarantee you, someone out there does. Do any of you guys call your cats little loaves of bread? Because they they kind of just look like little loaves. He's a loaf. Okay, I'm it's going to sleep. A loaf and jug. Figured out like kind of a way to cheat the game and to delete my account. It was just for like to see if you can do it. If we're gonna buy that account off of him because I'm pretty sure it's the first one in the world to be at level. Lily's been like so extremely annoying lately. She keeps like scratching the walls and crying and like she's been doing it the last like couple weeks and she does it while we're sleeping, always while we're sleeping. And she starts meowing like super loud and she gets like really aggressive. You wanna get on the bed? Come get on the bed. You just wanna be a bitch on the floor. Okay. Sometimes I wanna be a bitch on the floor too. Hey homies, uh, it's Monday. <laughs> just kidding, it's Friday. I got like no sleep last night because my fucking cats keep waking me up so damn early. And I always stay up late editing or doing something. Like I was up till two last night editing. And it's just because I'm a night owl. I'm just, I've always been that way. But normally I'm able to sleep till like, I don't know, nine. And um, the cats have been waking me up at like seven. So I've literally got like five hours of sleep. I'm so tired. But right now I am headed to meet my cousin at um, a salon. We're getting we're getting bikini waxes, Brazilian waxes, and it's her first time. So I said I'd go with her, and I was just I need to get mine touched up anyway. God, if there's any men watching this channel, are probably like, thanks for the info. But girls, you understand. I started getting um, Brazilian waxes. I was so scared, and I got one like the week of my wedding for the first time, and it wasn't bad at all. Like it was great actually. Um, I go to Asteria Salon, or I don't even know if it's called Asteria anymore. I think it might the name may have changed. I'll let you guys know. But I go and see Maddie or M Mandy. She's really good. I recommend her if you guys are in the Denver area and looking for someone. But I'm kind of feeling sick this morning. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear in my voice, but I'm really like congested and my throat's bothering me. And I was like coughing a lot when I was waking up this morning. And then my ankle hurts. I'm just like a fucking mess today. So I think I'm just gonna like probably lay low tonight. Um, probably gonna lay low like all weekend because next week is so busy for me so probably gonna like be cleaning and working like most of the weekend and chilling you know just feels like that kind of weekend so that's what's up with me so I just got done with lunch <laughs> we we got there at 11 and we were there till oh my gosh it's almost two I have a call in like 
10 minutes and I'm not home, so whatever, at least I can answer it in the car. When we talk, it's just like, it just goes forever. That's how I am with like everyone though. I just can't shut the fuck up and leave when I need to, but yeah, it was really good. Panera's so good. I had a really good um, peach, peach and blueberry smoothie. It was awesome. I keep you in the crib all night. And then, cause you just wake us up every night. Every morning she's been waking every us morning. up. In nighttime too. You wake us up. Cause you don't care about our sleep. It's all about pie. Sing the pie song. Papaya. You know, like our cats are so tame. Most cats would like rip oh, your face she off for that. She wants to. She wants to, but she won't. Do but it. she's a good girl, so she not do that. Look at her tail is always. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but it's her tail is curled. always curled. It's always in a cinnamon. Like when I made the animations for the cats okay, on our. Okay, okay, okay sorry. Okay, okay. Um, when I made the animations for the vlog channel, like the little cat animations, I made her tail purposely curled. Cause look, it, it goes back and forth, but it's always curled to one side. Yeah. That's how you like it. Look, she'll flip it. Pie. <laughs> You're cute, pie. You're cute. Man. Hey, happy Friday. Oh, the weeks just fly by. They really do. It flies by like I can't even believe it. It's already another week. I know. Where'd this week go? I know. So, babe, I'm looking at Jupiter, Florida, too. That might be a cool place. There ain't shit in Jupiter, dude. Really? No. Like, what do you mean, as far as there jobs? Any jobs there? I uh, need like, com I need like companies. So Tampa or Miami is the best two options. I don't want to go to Miami. It looks fucking horrible. It's just crazy down there. It like, is it's crazy. beautiful to go visit, it's, and I, I just don't want to live there. House. I like the more laid back. We're concerned stuff. about Tampa because we're concerned about we're concerned about sinkholes, and Josh thinks it's too conservative there for us. Well, I don't know. I, I, I'm if any of you live there, tell I'm us. We need help. Well, we have tons of subscribers that live there. Not, like, I need to be there. I need to go see the city. I need to spend time there. Because like, that's the way it was with Charlotte. We're like, oh, we love Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, I know. And, like, I know. That's way too the place there. It's just... <laughs> Charlotte's not close enough to the water, though, for me. No. That's what I've realized is I never thought I could afford to live close to the beach. I always thought if you live close to the beach, you pay like a fuck ton, but our rent's going to be cheaper in Florida than it is here. Denver rent is gone through the roof. The dark circles under my eyes right now are insane. I'm so tired and not feeling great. And I was on the phone this afternoon with some people for like three and a half hours. So I'm like super exhausted right now. I'm finishing up editing a vlog because my vlogs are still behind. I feel like you guys are seeing all our vlogs like a week late or even more sometimes. So I want to get it up to speed before I go to Florida. So I'm going to try to upload all the rest of the vlog footage I have left in the next few days.